The first structure which toposes must possess is a terminal object. Recall that a terminal object is a limit of an empty diagram, which is also called the empty product. Also recall that limits are computed object-wise in the category of sets for pre-sheaf categories. Therefore, the terminal object of a category of pre-sheaves on a small category C has one figure for each C object. In other words, each set of figures is the terminal object in the category of sets. The terminal object in the category of sets is the singleton set. The element in this set is denoted by PT, standing for point. In set squared, the terminal object is the container with a point in each of the two compartments. In evolving sets, the terminal object is a singleton set equipped with the identity process. In other words, sigma acts as the identity. For bouquets, the terminal object consists of one vertex and one petal. In the category of graphs, the terminal object is a graph with one vertex and one arc, necessarily a loop. And in the category of reflexive graphs, it is the container with one vertex and one arc, which is necessarily a distinguished loop. Note that in each case we have denoted the terminal object by delta 1. This is because there is a diagonal functor, delta, from the category of sets to each category of presheaves, which preserves limits, in particular the terminal object. So 1 is the name for a singleton set in the category of sets, and delta 1 in our first example could have also been written just as 1.